morning everybody. It's not morning because this morning we already had the meeting with uh, Mark from Kennet Leasing. He come down, we stood on that table over there. We signed all the documents for the casks. It was good. It went well. I think we should have casks on site within two weeks. So a couple of things that I noticed, particularly on the brew day with Froggy and Tom, that I really need to try and remedy. Uh, if we're gonna make any decent videos out of the unit moving forwards, and one of them is the noise. I mean, the noise from that chiller unit is a pain in the arse, a real pain in the arse. So I'm gonna use some of that ducting that the chaps brought me last week and try and send it up out of that corner to get rid of it. Before we get started though, I've got a sample here of the, uh, the blonde that I took this morning. So this has been a day on the dry hops. And if we're gonna get any of those horrible bitter flavors, then it'll be now that we're getting them. So I popped it in the fridge for the, uh, for the sediment to drop out a little bit. It still looks like a nice juicy New England IPA, don't you think? The aroma is on par. It smells the nuts. It's a little low on bitterness actually, but it tastes bloody lush. Ah. It just needs that little bit of bite in the back, which it doesn't quite have. So I think I've been over cautious this time. So next batch, we'll dial up the IBUs by maybe three. Oh, quaffable. So I spent a fair bit of time, the past couple of hours, I can feel the liquid flowing, rejigging the orientation of uh, the chilli unit. I had to also do a modification to the plug. We've got the cables now out of the way. This just needs tidying up a wee bit like so. And just tuck that down there. And uh, that should now allow me to come basically out the front of the blower, which is down there, and hopefully straight up to that corner of the unit where we have an exit out the building. So that's the plan. The only drawback is I can't see the actual readout on the lid. But never mind. Just pop my head around the corner. I can see it. So I've got the pipe looking a bit like that. Sounds different, doesn't it? But it's up there, and uh, it's kind of out of the way. 
but I have to cut the stainless liner and it's razor sharp. It bit me on the dust as well, it's kicked up. <coughs> it's not good. Right. Right, I'm gonna go and sort this bad boy out. There we are, it is uh, only bleeding a little bit on the end. A touch more glue. Remove the surplus, activate it. Temporary skin, just what the doctor ordered. Back to work. So in order to get the ducting connected to the actual unit, I've had to knock together this, what looks like a bird box, but you can see that'll connect onto the actual um, AC unit, and this shape is almost good enough to accept the duct. So I just have to stuff it in there, screw it or fix it into place, and then put a bit of foam in where there's a gap, same at the top, we'll foam the exit bit as well uh, and hopefully that will duct all of the warm air out of the unit. It's not hot so it's not going to be an issue. Never really above 40 degrees but at least it's kicking it out of the unit. So I hear in the background Gemma's here, there she is. So it looks like it must be half past three approaching. Uh, I'm going to finish this off tomorrow because I'm going to actually uh, Go for a walk this afternoon with the kids in the sunshine and then watch football tonight. I know, I've been roped into it. So here it is in situ before we shoot off. And you kind of get to see how it works. See that? You can actually hear. You can definitely hear the noise. So hopefully when that ducting goes into that slot, we'll have shot all of the air out of the building. That is the plan anyway. Oh, we're not quick enough with the camera. We just saw a stoke run into the hedge. It looked awesome. So we're gonna take you down here, Abs. You've never been down here before, sweetie. Oh, well, not for a long time. You might not remember it, but you have when you was younger. And down here, there's a river that you can go paddling in. It's called Crookford Water. Look at that, it's a squirrel, not a, not a stoat. He's up there. Hello, squirrel. Yay! Oh, McDonald's, heard of them. Yay, 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 yay. Oh, squirrel. <laughs> if you can hear the water, it's really nice. Yeah, this is the only thing that spoils this little backwater, really. They've got this massive uh, old timber recycling plant. I suppose it needs to be done somewhere. It just makes me wonder why they do it in the middle of such an idyllic piece of countryside, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah let's go over the bridge first. Okay. We're going over the bridge! Don't make a log straight through it, even I can't. There's some fishes in the water. We can try and catch some. I
There goes the old tractor. So we've had a nice little walk down and a paddle in the Ford. I'm going to treat the urchins now to a McDonald's. And then we're going to watch the football. Come on, England. We'll see you tomorrow. Did you say come on, England? <laughs>